Hello everyone, it's Meg, and in this video I'm going to show you how to build this really cute fantasy house. I think it does look like a little fairy tale home, which is what I was going for, like something you'd see in a storybook. It will fit in a 17 by 18 area, just slightly bigger than one chunk. We will be building the entire structure of the house first, and then maybe at the end of the video I will give you some ideas for what you could do on the inside. Okay, let's go. So to begin, we're going to be creating our basic layout. I'm going to be using cobblestone and dark oak wood for this layer, and all of our stair blocks on this layer will be upside down and facing the outside of the house. Just take the time you need to build this and other parts of this house as we go along, and feel free to pause the video whenever you need to. Now this next part might look a little unusual, but we're going to be building three blocks high of cobblestone in just these locations. I'm going to purposefully build up just certain parts of the wall first, and we'll be building the main walls later. So once we're done with those cobblestone walls, now we're going to add a few spruce walls. And to make it very clear, the one spruce wall on the left side of the house will be three blocks high, and the two walls on the other side will be four blocks high. So we basically just filled in all those tight corners, and now we just have the main walls, like I said, to do. So let's move to the front of the house and work on this first wall. On this wall, I will be using cobblestone and dark oak. The first row is grayed out because that is what we already have laid out. So go ahead and just build what's on top of that exactly as you see. For this next wall, I'm going to view it from the back since it will be a little bit easier to see what's going on. And on this wall, we'll be using, of course, dark oak and then spruce. Now I just need to back up a little bit and let's do the back wall. So on this lawn strip back here, we're going to build out this wall shape. It's going to be the largest of all the walls of this house. And again, we'll be using the dark oak and spruce. At this point, if you're doing everything right, this wall should line up perfectly with the wall that we just built in the front. Once we have that wall done, I'm going to add this extra little bit of detail on the front of it. It's going to be completely out of dark oak. And the main reason I'm doing this is just to add a little more depth and detail to this wall. We just have one more wall to do, and that's this one on the side, and this one we'll be using both spruce and cobblestone. And once we're done making this shape, we will be doing an additional layer on top of this as well. Now that we have all of the walls done, we just need to add the chimney before we can get onto the roof. So let's go over here and build out this whole layer. It's going to be in the exact center of that place we marked out for the chimney, and it's going to have this very interesting curving effect with a cobblestone wall on top. And once you have that middle layer done, we're just going to add a couple more blocks to the outside edges, and those are just there to break up all the shapes and make the chimney more asymmetrical. Okay, we have everything done except for the roof, so let's get started working on that. Now this is going to be a little tricky, but we're going to start with this roof section on the front. And I did lay it out just to make it a little more clear, but we're going to place these blocks on top of this wall. And once we have all of those placed, we're just going to extend off of those blocks. So over here on the left, we're going to extend this section all the way up to where the chimney starts. So that's fairly simple, right? But once we get to this very top block, we're going to leave that just like it is with a single block on top. And then on the right side, those will just extend up to that large wall. We will also extend it out one more block so it's sticking out from the wall. And that is the first part of the roof done. Let's go on to another section. On the back wall, again, we're just going to lay out all the blocks on top of this wall, and then I will show you where we will be extending these. First we'll do the single blocks that extend out the front, then going around to the chimney side we're just going to extend it until it connects with the front roof, and then going just one block past the front wall. So just keep connecting those on this side and it should be pretty simple. So we'll just keep dragging this roof all the way across. Once we get to the other side this is going to be a little bit trickier, I'm going to leave this giant hole in the middle. If you look at the left side of this roof, it has four blocks on the bottom layer, three blocks on the next one, and then five blocks on top of that. So that is what the left side has. 
and then over on the right we have two on the bottom, one in the middle, and then three on top. So if you have that set up like that, then the last roof should line up perfectly. So by now, you should be able to finish this roof without me telling you anything. We're just adding the blocks on top of the wall, extending them one off, and then connecting them to our other roof. Now we need to detail these roofs just a little bit more, so on this roof that we're currently at, I'm going to place upside down stairs on all of those edges on the front, and a full block in the center. And now on the very top of this roof, I'm going to remove three of those slabs and replace them with blocks, and place an upside down stair on the end just to add that extra bit of decoration. Now let's go to the back and we'll just add upside down stairs on all of those corner pieces. And then on the top we'll be adding the same type of decoration, but this time I'm going to add two full blocks with the upside down stair. And then I'm going to place three additional slabs behind that. Then we'll just repeat that on the other side. And this little extra curve just makes the roof look a lot better. Also don't forget to add the upside down stairs on this half of the roof. and. Now we're going to do the same thing on the front part, and we'll also be adding that full block in the top middle area. Now our decoration piece for this one is going to be slightly different. We're going to place that upside down stair directly on that full block we just placed, with an extra slab on top that should line up with the other slabs on the roof. Alright, those were some very specific instructions, but we're almost done. Let's go ahead and add in our windows. And what I did for my windows was I used trap doors on this front part with the cobblestone, but then I used spruce fences everywhere else. I like the combination of these, but you could do whatever you'd like for your windows or even use glass if you prefer. All right, the house is pretty much finished aside from just a couple extra details. So you did see those details we added on the side and the back walls. Well, now I want to add some of those to the front walls as well. Go ahead and add these few extra slabs of stairs again, just to give a little depth to these walls. And then there's the door. So let's add that, and we're done with the exterior of the house. Now I'm going to go inside and clean things up a little bit. I'm going to fill in some blocks where they're missing in the walls, as well as put some upside down stairs on all of the roof pieces to smooth everything out with the walls. It's really up to you how much detail you want to do on the inside, but I always like to do this because it makes the roof look a lot cleaner. I also added this high beam in the ceiling just because we have all this space to work with and I'm going for an open floor concept with just a single room. Now let's give this place a little bit of furnishing and see what it looks like. I have hung this little chandelier from the beam just to fill in all that extra space. And you can see I laid out just a few pieces of furniture. I added a mantle to the fireplace and some extra decorations around. We have plenty of chests spread throughout for extra storage. We have our little library, a little bedroom with some shelves, as well as a grandfather clock and a little kitchen in the corner. Also, little things like potted plants and framed items give that little extra homey feel to this little house. I'm not the greatest with interiors, but at any rate, I hope this will inspire you to come up with something on your own. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video, and be sure to let me know how much you liked it by leaving a like or a comment down below. Also, feel free to give me more suggestions for future videos because I will always be accepting those. I hope you all have a fantabulous day, and I also hope to see you some other time. Bye!